Hello, it's Philip Taylor from Richmond Green Chambers speaking, and I'm looking at a book from Professor Gary Slapper. He's written many uh, interesting books over the years. This is one now in a second edition, How the Law Works, A Friendly Guide. Um, it's by um, Routledge, you can see the, the name at the side, with some blurb on the back. And what it's got, it's, it's slightly different than a normal book. It hasn't got paragraph numbering, but it's got a lot of very detailed information about all the questions you have, cases and courts, judges and so forth. The index is actually at the back, but there are cases listed also, rather than at the front, they're actually at the back with statutes and various other um, bits and bobs, plus a miscellany and notes to go with each of the chapters. What I particularly liked were things like the ten uh, greatest films on law, that sort of thing, which just adds a human touch, which Gary's very good at. Um, this is a book which I think fills a nice niche for the 21st century. I grew up on Learning the Law by Professor Glanville Williams, which was very much something for the 60s and early 70s. But this is very much a book for the 21st century. There's a Flickr review there, and my wife and I have come up with a title for this. We've said, Approaching Law for the First Time. Here's how it works, and in plain English too. And what we say is that this, that newcomers to the study of law often regard the subject as an abstruse one, even though fascinating it may well be. This is partly because, as um, Slapper says, most students of law at universities encounter this complex and varied field for the first time, not having had the benefit of studying it uh, previously at school. Here, then, is a useful and engaging source of explanation of the law of England and Wales in clear, plain English. Students and non-lawyers alike, in our view, wishing to improve their knowledge of the law, will love it. Professor Slapper, who many of you all know is director of the law school at the Open University and a Times columnist, maintains quite rightly that the law is a matter of life and death. Whether you know or choose to know anything about the law or not, Law affects just about everything in your world, whether important or relatively unimportant or insignificant. Apart from obviously things it covers are the air you breathe, to the food you eat, to property and family relationships, or whether you are able to have any property or family relationships, or for that matter, adequate food at all. Quote, the rule of law is the first rule of the democracy, says, the Sla uh, says Gary Slapper, noting that in a democracy like the UK's, the law has the highest power. That's rather nice having the front of Big Ben on the cover. Like every other utterance and insight in this richly detailed book, these observations provides considerable food for thought. Gradually, much of the mystery of the law is to a gratifying extent, demystified and explained page by page, and you can see that by the way he's actually set the book out. Often he gives entertaining anecdotes and has an enlightening, his, uh, enlightening historical perspective, which I certainly find fascinating. The useful and detailed table of contents lists the topics covered. And they include judges, lawyers, cases and courts, interpreting acts of parliament, the jury, language and the law, and much more besides. The book is full of what we might term aha moments. <laughs> to cite one example, did you know the word solicitor is derived from the Latin solicito, which means I bother or worry. This should be inscribed on the front door of the Law Society, definitely. Usefully, for novices in the law, there are any number of suggestions for further reading, not to mention tables of cases and legislation, together with a bibliography and a glossary of terms. Miscellany, which I referred to earlier in the last chapter, includes ten great free websites offering law, ten great places to experience law live, and ten great films for those interested in the law. Written not just to be studied, but enjoyed, how the law works does work brilliantly as an informed and informative introduction to the study of law for those approaching it for the first time. So thank you very much, Gary and Routledge. Bye-bye.